Welcome back. Now in this video, we want to discuss very briefly the timeline operation of the pause. So we're going to open up Introduction to Strategic Marketing. And we've discussed the animation timeline operation, but you'll notice that there is actually something called pause. And you will find this inside of Sparkle as well as some of the other video creators. In some cases, you will not find this operation. And what the pause does is it allows us to pause after the animation is being drawn. And what you're trying to do with the pause is you are trying to match the timing of the animation to the actual voiceover. So if you look at animation plus pause, this should equal the timing of the actual discussion. So in other words, we will actually play Introduction to Strategic Marketing. You'll be able to see it then. Introduction to Strategic Marketing. Now you'll notice that there was a slight pause before it starts to transition to the next scene. And what this does is it allows us to match the words to the actual speaker. In some cases, you will not want there to be a pause at all. And you'll see that as we illustrate with this chart. You'll notice that it took 1.5 seconds to draw the chart. We, want, don't, we don't want there to be any pause between the actual drawing and the actual next part of the animation. And the reason is because we want the timing to actually match the words marked strategically. And so you are actually doing each scene as one piece, but you control the pause so that it gives you additional time for the words to appear on the screen. So for example, let's take a look at market strategically after the chart. During difficult economic times, they must market strategically. That means that Okay, so you'll notice that there was no pause after the chart, but then there's a slight pause after market strategically because we want there to be timing between starting the next discussion, starting the next image, and starting the next screen. So what we're effectively trying to do is we're trying to give our viewer the opportunity to see the visual as well as to see some of the words as they're being spoken. Now, in some cases, you will have the pause combined with the transition. If that's the case, you'll need to operate these two together. But it bears a separate discussion because the transition actually is a timeline operation that does something entirely different. And we're going to discuss that in the next video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.